Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams and we are still making decisions under a condition of uncertainty. And in this video, what I want to go through is the Minimax Regret Criterion. The Minimax Regret Criterion is based on this concept of lost opportunity. And we lose opportunity because we make the wrong decision and we don't maximize our payoff. For example, let's say that I have alternative one with a payoff of $500 and that's what I select. But alternative two would have yielded me a payoff of $700. The opportunity loss is $200. In other words, the regret associated with that wrong decision is that $200 that I didn't make. When we analyze decision-making situations using this Minimax Regret Criterion, what we're going to do is transform our payoff table into an Opportunity Loss table. We're then going to use that table to apply the Minimax Regret Criteria. So I'm continuing with my hot dog stand example, and I had three alternatives. I could open a small, medium, or large hot dog cart here on the Outer Banks. And I identified my three states of nature as tourist traffic either being lower, the same, or higher than last year. I created my payoff table by looking at each state of nature and each decision alternative and determining what the payoff would be for each decision alternative under each state of nature. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform the payoff table into an opportunity loss table. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to first determine the highest payoff under each state of nature. Then I'm going to subtract the payoff for each decision alternative from that highest payoff. This is going to give me my regret. And I'm going to do that for each state of nature that I have. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to replace the payoffs with the regret or opportunity losses and that's going to give me my opportunity loss table. Once I have this done, I'm going to determine the maximum regret for each decision alternative and I'm going to select the smallest regret available. What we can see here is that I have my payoff table. What I've done is I've looked at each of these states of nature and I determined that the maximum payoff with low tourist traffic was 150. The maximum payoff for tourist traffic being the same was 175 and the largest payoff with high tourist traffic was 160. So now that I have this I'm going to go into each of my decision alternatives and I'm going to select the payoff from my maximum. So I regret that decision not at all. So I take the 150 minus my payoff of 75 gives me a regret of $75. I'm going to take my maximum of 150 minus my negative $80 payoff will give me a regret of 230. Here for tourist traffic being the same, take the maximum minus the payoff. Again, no regret there. I take the maximum minus my payoff give me $75 regret. I take the maximum minus my payoff of $60 gives me a regret of $165. Over here for high tourist traffic, I take the maximum of $160, subtract my negative $25, gives me a regret of $185. My maximum of $160 minus my payoff of $125 gives me a regret of $35. And again, my maximum minus my maximum payoff gives me a regret of zero dollars. What I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to move these regrets into a new table. So here we are with our regret table and the regret table simply those figures that I calculated before moved over. So now I'm going to go into each decision alternative and I'm going to figure out the highest regret 
under each decision alternative. And I'm going to move those over here to maximum regret. Remember, this is a mini max. So I want to select the minimum of the maximum. And so what I know is that the decision that I will regret the least is opening this medium cart because it has a maximum regret of only $75. I hope this helped and I look forward to hearing from you soon.